Hi, my name is Mary Ann Salamo. I've been a photographer with my own studio since 2003, and I studied photography all the way back in the olden days of film. I was also one of the first to jump on the digital trend, and at a certain point, my first camera was a Kodak 760. If I show you the some of these I don't use, I don't tether. Um, I find, I don't know, suitable. I'd rather shoot and then download a card. Shape is something I don't normally use style. Uh, you could chart change it in, but you see I'm shooting with a 5D Mark IV and they set the color profile based on the camera, sir. And it, it builds uh, an image based on that. Um, back in the old days, I had a Kodak 760 and for a while there was no raw conversion software when Kodak went into business. And that's how I jumped onto Capture One. Anyway, the thing that I have been finding with the newest version, and I don't know if this has to do with the advent of mirrorless cameras, if this program expects to see more sharpness, right now I have the unsharp mask on to show me where I hit folk, which is a nice tool because you want to make sure if you're printing an image that it's sharp. And sometimes when it's zoomed out at like in Capture One, you can see right here, if it's zoomed out, you can see the whole image. And sometimes it's better to put a mask on to just, you know, as you're going through them and culling, you have a mask on, oh, this one's in focus, this one's in focus. This one was in Capture One. If you look at this box here, I mean, and I'll pull it out, I'm going to pull it out because that'll make life easier for all of us. If I pull this box out, this is how I see my focus area at 200%. Gives me this little thing and I can click in that focus area and I can see, yeah, it's focused. Okay. And then I can apply any sharpening I want. I generally just add a touch of sharpening in my raw. If it's something I want a little sharper, I might selectively sharpen it in Photoshop, but I need to make sure it's sharp straight out of camera, right? But here's the problem. When you, I notice when you're, it's the same lens now, mind you, this is the next image. Look, my angle is different. So, and I'm, I'm photographing a curved object. And because I'm shooting wide open, you could see the, here at the bottom, my ISO is 800. I was shooting at 16, uh, 16 hundredths of a second in my shutter. I do that because I want to make sure my lens is sharp and it's not my hand shaking. And I usually test the lens two stops up from wide open. So if a lens opens at 1.2, I will use it at 1.8, I will use it. At and up. I won't use it at usually use it at 1.4 because you take a greater risk of getting soft images when you open a lens wide open. So take a look here. Here is the here's the mask is on and it says I'm sharp right here and I am but I'm sharp more than there. I'm sharp all the way up on the line of focus. Why isn't the mask lighting up? It's very frustrating. And I'm gonna show you something else. Let's go to this image, which you think might not be in focus, right? There's no mask. Where is the focus? Well, if I go right to the center of the image where I was focusing, you're gonna see that the image is in focus. So I don't understand what it's doing in terms of sharpening, in terms of focus. It's picking up little, the lens is picking up microscopic dog hair. I mean, you can't get any sharper than that if I if I can't see it in the image it may be something that I want to edit out but I don't want the image so sharp that I gotta take out dog hairs in my furniture <laughs> I know I, it may sound silly but I don't understand why this mask does not light up when I have focus here I'll show you another one okay again microscopic hair is in the couch that I will never see Unless I blow this thing up to billboard standards, which generally is not what I do, I w I'm really questioning how much focus Capture One expects when you're shooting wide open. And I'll just do one last. This is with a different lens. Oh, this is with a hundred millimeter lens and it's not showing focus but I see focus. I mean, anyone can correct me in the comment. I am not above learning. If you can understand this phenomenon, why this mask is not lighting up when you can see microscopic hairs in the furniture and that is not considered sharp, you can let me know. I'd love to know. And here is the last one. Okay, this I shot with my 50 millimeter. And again, it's telling me it's not in focus, right? Not, you didn't hit it. There's no focus, except when I start clicking around to the center of the image where I was focusing. I will say this lens is not as good as the 85 millimeter. It, it's not as good as the 100. Now with the change of the EF system, I am personally uh, looking to play around with the primes. 
that Canon has made in the past. I want to see how those really work before I change to a whole RF system. I'm an old school girl, so I don't know if that's in the realm of possibility. I'm very resistant to mirrorless. I just don't want to walk around with my camera in front of my face. I want to look through an eyepiece and compose. So that's my take on it. If you have any questions or concerns and you're rediscovering programs, working through a workflow, you have questions, you can always pop over to the channel. And soon I hope to be putting more, uh, more of my artwork up, more of my drawings, my paintings, and some of the stuff that I do with my art students. So stay tuned and please subscribe.